If you're looking to start growing your own vegetables or build a garden, you have come to the right place. For today's Planting Palmetto, we're talking all about starting vegetable seeds. I'm joined by Chris Burt, your local Clemson Extension agent and plant expert. Of course, welcome back, Chris. Yeah, thank you for having me. We talked about it a little bit um, a few weeks ago. Your New Year's resolution is to finally start that garden you've been talking about. <laughs> Where do we even begin? Uh, so, well, the exciting thing is, is one of my favorite things to plant is vegetables. And of course, we live in an area that has a very long growing season, which just means that we can grow almost every vegetable. So wow. um, that's kind of the exciting thing. And so when it comes to growing your own vegetables, it's really just all about choosing what you like. Uh, and then, of course, choosing um, how much you want to plant and, of course, when to plant. And so there's a lot of different aspects as far as vegetable gardening goes. Um, but if you have the sunlight, you can grow almost any vegetable you want. Wow. Would you say that there's some that are better than others here in Charleston? Yes, uh, I think there's some that are harder or easier than others. Um, so the key with vegetables right off the bat is you want to make sure you have about six plus hours of sunlight. Um, so the more sunlight you have, the better. Um, fruit production you're going to have, so things like tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, they're going to produce fruits. Uh, and so if you have more sunlight, you're going to get more of those. Um, if you don't necessarily have as much sunlight, you can do more of your greens, things like your, your cabbage, your collards, uh, things like herbs, those are going to do well in low sunlight. Um, but for the most part, when it comes to easy and hard, it's all going to be about each specific type. So tomatoes, and of course, being one of the most popular vegetables period. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually w arguably one of the harder ones to grow. Um, unfortunately, I always get the comments, especially from those who have moved from up north. You know, I grew vegetables or I grew tomatoes every year, always were really easy. And then they come down here and what they run into is I try to grow or, uh, tomatoes and of course they, they collapse in the heat. Mm. I planted them maybe at the wrong time. I'm not watering them enough. I get blossom end rot. Uh, the big thing is, is kind of looking at it and saying, okay, maybe tomatoes aren't the best thing um, or looking at tomatoes that are going to be a little bit easier. Okay. Um, so the best thing to do when it comes to vegetables in general is to start to look at what time of year to grow things and then start to look at each individual one. Um, so say January, which is, um, you know, we're, we're in January now, what vegetables can I start growing? Um, things like peas, things like uh, lettuce, things like radishes, they're very easy to grow. Oftentimes the winter vegetables are easier than the summer vegetables mm. because guess what? They don't need as much time to grow. Um, and then of course the summer vegetables, it's all about, all right, what are the pests and diseases I have to look for? Generally, those are going to be your big limiting factor. Okay, where, where do you even go to find these seeds? Uh, so there's a lot of different uh, seed companies, whether you buy from companies in Oregon or Washington or you buy them in state. Um, the best thing to do is try to find as local as possible. Um, there's several seed companies in South Carolina that you can buy cool. from. Um, those are generally going to be kind of my first step. If I can find from those, excellent, because that means uh, less shipping. Also, that means seeds that might be a little bit more adapted to our local climates. Okay. Um, so that's the first thing to do. Um, and if you're looking for just list of, of what types of plants to grow, obviously, not only does Clemson Extension, but various different um, websites are going to have list of vegetables that you can grow. The key is, is once you do find the seed, do find quality seeds. You know, don't go find from mm -hmm you know, a mom and pop place that has seeds unmarked, mm -hmm. you know, try to buy good quality seeds, um, but also make sure you're planting at the right time of year. So each vegetable is going to kind of have its own planting window. Okay. Um, so say I'm planting tomatoes, again, that kind of most popular one. Uh, we're really going to want to make sure we're planting it, say, in April and May, mm -hmm. because if you plant too early, we have an issue with frost. If you plant too late, we actually have an issue with heat. I can and see so that. Yeah. There's all these planting windows and each vegetable is going to vary in those. So if you find the good seeds, I always recommend getting seeds early. January is perfect time to do so. And then if you're starting those seeds indoors or starting them yourself, go ahead and start them early so that way they're ready for planting date and that planting date is going to fall on that planting window. And once you get those seeds, how long do they last? Uh, so usually if you keep them dry and keep them cool, they'll last for about two to three years. Hmm. Um, usually most seed packets are going to have a sell-by date. They're also going to have a germination rate on that seed packet. That germination rate is going to go down each year you have it. So hmm. if you say have 75%, 
By next year, it might be 50 or 45. It'll start going down precipitously. And so the best thing to do is buy good seed, but don't necessarily go buy a bunch of bulk seed and try to preserve it, because unfortunately, seed's got a pretty short window. The key is, though, make sure it's dry, make sure it's cool, and try to use it as quickly as possible. And the goal for all of us, right, is to succeed in this. We want that beautiful food coming right to us, right from our garden. How do we really make sure that we get the product that we want? So my recommendation is, is um, do not be worried about failing. Um, so failure is definitely an option when it comes to vegetables. Um, the best thing to do is just try, try, and try again. Um, and of course, get to know what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. One of my favorite things to do, or one of the things I push the most, is keeping a journal. Um, when it comes to gardening, specifically vegetable gardening, is try to keep up with what you're doing. Um, take day-to-day -day notes. What, how much rain are we getting each day? What was the mm. high? What was the low? Uh, when did I start the seeds? When did I plant the seeds? When did I fertilize? When did I water? Um, if you keep up with those things and you start doing that year after year, you'll start to notice a pretty good cycle of, all right, I'm starting to improve this, I'm starting to change this to really be successful. But the key is, is just trying. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to vegetables, they're, they're very short lived. They're only gonna last, um, you know, six to eight months. And so don't worry if it dies, guess what? You can always go get more seeds. You can always replant. It's not a huge deal. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of the nice thing about vegetables is it's really kind of an area for learning. What vegetables do you grow? I gotta know. Uh, so my favorite things to grow are onions, potatoes, and peppers. Potatoes? Um, so, yes, I love growing potatoes, wow. um, mostly because I like eating potatoes. Those are three of my favorites. Um, uh, but they're so really good. easy. Potatoes are arguably one of the easiest vegetables in my opinion. Um, the key is just making sure you get good seed potatoes. Okay. Uh, and of course, planting them in good soil, and making sure they're getting plenty of sun. But yeah. Peppers, also one of the easiest. You notice I like the easiest ones yes. because guess what? I like to be successful. So um, if I can get the easy ones, um, every once in a while I'll try some of the harder ones, but in What's reality- What's like the hardest? Uh, that's actually a good, I don't know which one's the hardest. Um, I would say a lot of times your things like cantaloupes, uh, mm. musk melons, those can be a lot more difficult than people realize. Okay. Things like Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, there's a lot of work to be put in and not a whole lot you're pulling out. Um, things like watermelons are actually a little bit more difficult than I, I think most that. people are util uh, realizing. Um, and then of course, tomatoes. Um, I love tomatoes. I generally only grow cherry tomatoes. They're mm -hmm. very easy. Mm. You plant, you kind of enjoy. Um, not really a whole lot of work that goes into it. A lot of your other tomatoes, there's too many disease and pest issues. Um, and in reality, I kind of like a little bit more of the lazy gardener approach. Okay, perfect. Well, Chris, thank you so much. And good luck to everybody out there who's trying to start the vegetable garden this year.